Still another example of as the speed flow increases, the pressure decreases. I can take a piece of paper here and increase the speed of the air over the top of the paper simply by blowing across the top of it. Watch what happens to the piece of paper as I blow over the top. As I supply a high speed, low pressure on the top side of the paper, the bottom part of the paper is pushed up by the atmosphere and the paper rises. Again, high velocity corresponds to low pressure. Another illustration of that is if I have two sheets of paper and uh, I hold them uh, close together and uh, support them here with my fingers and then blow air between the two, I'm going to blow some high velocity air between those two pieces of paper. That will reduce the pressure in between and the atmospheric pressure will then tend to push them together. High velocity, low pressure. A uh, major application of that is the, uh, is the modern airplane. Here I have a uh, model airplane, and uh, this shows the wing, the shape of the wing, which tends to be fairly flat across the bottom, curved across the top in such a way that the air has to travel faster over the top surface of the wing compared to the airspeed under the bottom of the wing. So as the airplane flies through the air, it sees relatively high velocity air across the top of the wing and lower velocity air across the bottom. Low pressure, high velocity, high pressure, low velocity. That's what supplies lift to the airplane wing and makes it possible for the airplane to be airborne. Another application of Bernoulli's principle.